In this video, I'm going to multiply two decimals together. Now, first of all, I'm going to adjust them so that they're easier to deal with. So I'm going to multiply this number by 10 to make it 149. And I'm going to multiply this number by 100 to make it 637. I'm then going to adjust my answer afterwards. So I've got 149 times 637. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 6 is 33. 9 times 6 is 54. Plus 3, 57. Next, we're multiplying by the 40. So I'm going to place a 0 as a place marker. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 2 is 14. 4 times 6 is 24, plus the 1 is 25. Next, I'm multiplying by 100, so I'm going to have two zeros as place markers. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 6 is 6. Then I'm going to add together these parts. 3... 3 plus 8 is 11, double 7 is 14, add 4 is 18, add 1 is 19, 5 add 5 is 10, add 3 is 13, add 1 is 14, 6 add 2 is 8, add 1 is 9. Now, because I multiplied my numbers to start by 10 and by 100, altogether I multiplied my numbers by 10 times 100, which is 1,000. So I've got to divide my final answer by a thousand or move my digits three places to the right, which is effectively putting the decimal point there. So I'm just going to have a think. If I had six times 15, that rounds to 15, six times 15 is about 90. So I'm fairly happy with my answer of 94.913.